Before I came into Teen Challenge, three days before I came in here, I had um, destroyed every relationship that I'd ever had. My mother and my father didn't want anything to do with me. I had no more friends, and for the first time in my life, I had become homeless, and I had a trash bag full of clothes, and it was pouring down rain that night, and I went next to this river where I knew that there was a very large tree that I could sleep under, and I, uh, I tried to take my life that night. My name is Ryan DeLeon. I am 25 years old. Uh, I was born and raised in Allentown, Pennsylvania. What brought me to Pennsylvania Dog Teen Challenge was I was in the midst of an addiction that I had suffered from from about 14 years old that had taken me from jails and institutions and the state penitentiary to uh, eventually being homeless out there on the street and to the point where I was broken and alone and I knew I needed a change. I actually heard about Pennsylvania Adult Teen Challenge kind of by chance. I was in um, calling many facilities trying to get into somewhere, anywhere that would take me and uh, that name kept coming up, Pennsylvania Adult and Teen Challenge, and I didn't really want to go. I was scared and I had heard about the year-long program there and I didn't really want to commit that long of anything. I wasn't even sure if I wanted to be alive at that point, let alone surrender an entire year to some place. But I had heard about it from calling detox facility after detox facility, getting refused by every facility that, was, um, that I would call on the phone to the point where I eventually uh, go into the hospital and tell them I'm gonna, I'm gonna commit suicide. And they called a place, they said the only place that is answering is Pennsylvania Adult and Teen Challenge. When they wouldn't let me into detoxes at other places and they said that they were too full, I really felt, I really felt alone in those moments. Like I had always felt alone and something was wrong, but then when people, when I'm crying out for help and they were refusing me, I really felt like no one cared. This world didn't care about me. And, and nobody was there. So before I came to Teen Challenge, my faith was almost non-existent. I had knowledge. I knew what the Bible was. I could even quote scripture. I could do all those things, and uh, but it didn't mean anything. It was just that. It was just religion. There was no personal relationship with Jesus Christ. I had, and with that, I had nothing. My experience here at Pennsylvania Adult and Teen Challenge is something that I never thought I could deserve. To, to find the love of the Lord, to find the love of my Father who's been there for me always, and even in those times where I felt alone, to know that He never had left me, He never forsook me, that He had always been there sovereignly, His hand over me and His love never stopping. Being here, what it has done for me is allowed for me to really come out of my shell, really take life seriously for once, to know that this is, this is serious and then the experience is other than that, with the, the leadership here, people who I have allowed mentor me, who knew the Lord, who have been walking with Him for longer than I have, to get that experiences and to be the ex and to have the experiences with inside the ministries, has just been amazing. Pennsylvania Adult Teen Challenge has been a place where God allowed for me to come and sit, and it saved my life. This place has given me the knowledge to successfully continue my walk in in life, the way a man should walk, the things he should know. I had realized that spending countless years inside of addiction and spending years inside facilities like jails or the state penitentiary that in the grand scheme of things one year isn't anything and more than that, that one year out of my life here on earth is nothing in comparison to what God has in store for me for eternity and he has in store for all of us. This program, if you put if you put your all into this program, what you're going to get out of it is something far more greater than, than you could ever imagine. That this year of your life that you spend here, if you spend it inside the prayer and meditation, being allowed to be discipled by different men here, look at the leaders and see how they're walking, seeing the family restoration in their lives, seeing their prayer life, seeing how much they're in the scriptures, giving that time, and allowing yourself to be taught and be teachable you're gonna reap something vastly more great than you could, than I could ever have dreamed of. That being here for this little bit of time will change your life.